Hello, Mr. Gantner. Hey. How are you doing? Luke Thomas, Fox City Journal. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Uh, a lot of people said you were last uh, last night as a potential front runner in the uh, D3 race. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, I knew nothing about you. All I knew was that uh, you uh, you qualified for public financing. You run a newsletter or a newsletter. I qualified for public financing uh, in District Three. First person to do that, and I was number two behind Mark Sanchez. Okay. And I'm totally in, the, in public finance. Wow. And people say uh, people that uh, live in the district they say that you're the candidate to reckon with because of your reach uh, through the newspaper. Uh, I'm hoping that my paper will make the difference. Uh-huh. Uh, it's gotten a very good response. Uh, the next issue, the July issue, comes out in about 10 days. Uh-huh. It covers many different segments of District 3, uh-huh. uh, and I think it will resonate with most residents of District 3. Now, you sort of came across last night as a progressive. Would that be an accurate... Uh... Uh, that, that, yeah. it's, yes, I come across as a progressive, uh-huh. but, but... Hey, Vicky. Uh, but I, I want to qualify that slightly. Uh, we have some real uh, budgetary concerns in city government. And so we have to are you smart a, about that. Are you a uh, fiscal conservative? Uh, I'm a... I'm a uh, I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with that person. Well, no, I... I'm, I'm a progressive within reasonable fiscal boundaries. Okay. I have to, I'm not trying to dodge the question, but, you know... So I mean, you, need, you need some flexibility and leeway when, when the... Uh, when the... the, the uh, uh, well, here, here's, here's, here's what I say. For example, I, I support Supervisor Daly's proposal for $33 million set aside for Sorry, affordable housing. Down, all right? But of the six, six point whatever billion dollars city budget, there's only a billion that we really have a lot of discretion with. So you're, you're right. talking about 3%. Five, yeah. and, yeah. And, we, and the more set-asides you do, the less flexibility we have. So I started getting a concern, particularly in the uh, era of uh, uh, recession. Um, we have to be real careful about that. Uh, so I try and be a progressive, but we have to be reasonable about fiscal policy. Right. There's just no, we have no choice in that. What's the, what's the least thing that most people, most people don't know about you? Uh, the most I am a uh, true believer in open space, in urban open space, and I will do everything possible to achieve that goal. If you go on <laughs> www.saveourecosystems.com, take a look at that site, and that will tell you uh, my fundamental beliefs about the environment. And uh, what are your fundamental beliefs in, in uh, a nutshell? I have, I, have, I have two beliefs in the environment. The first is something that derives from English common law, but might be in, later in the 21st century, and that is that the rights of the environment are equal to human and civil rights. I think in the future we'll get to a point where the rights of the environment are above human and civil rights, but right now we're not even at an equality. And secondly, the compassion for the environment is, uh, is as compassion for our fellow human beings. Okay, very good. And uh, I, I think you're a supporter of public power in San Francisco? Uh, yes, in fact, I'm helping to draft legislation, but we're going to call it something else. We're not going to call it public power. Okay. Well, we have to be smart about that. Yes, yeah, we have to be smart about that. And yes. the same way we have to be smart about the... Uh, uh, the, uh, the push towards universal health care. Absolutely. Right. We have to be very smart here. Exactly. Okay? In, a, in an era of and limited fiscal uh, resources.